Welcome to the Center on Technology and Disability series on technology implementation strategies that work. This video is part of Unit 4, Budgeting for Educational Technology. In Video 2, we discuss options for budgetary planning. The goals of this unit are to outline the processes for defining current technologies in the school building, identifying new technologies that are needed, and drafting a multi-year budget. In this video, we discuss drafting a multi-year technology budget based upon the needs identified through your technology inventory. School operating budgets provide stable financing for ongoing purchases and support. However, school budgets are tight and programs including technology programs and technology support staff may be cut in some schools. It is important to consider alternatives to funding and plan not only for initial costs, but also for long-term maintenance and replacement costs to facilitate sustainability. Budgeting for technology implementation requires planning for costs ranging from new device allocation and upgrading the school infrastructure's connectivity and access points to professional learning and funds to support repairs and the replacement of devices. Districts and schools are finding funds not only in their existing budgets, but also through technology bonds, grants, and partnerships with companies and organizations. Schools are also using assistive technology labs in local education agencies, which make technology available for schools throughout the district, and they are accepting donated technology from parents, organizations, and companies. Developing multi-year budgets is critical to gaining teacher, parent, and student buy-in. If stakeholders view technology implementation as an experiment with only short-term goals and short-term budget allocations, they are less likely to invest in the professional learning and expend the effort initially required to yield success. Multi-year budgets allow for the development of long-term plans and increase sustainability of initiatives. As a team, you need to develop a plan to support the costs associated with implementing and maintaining technology in your district and school buildings. Many districts and schools today initially fund the purchase of new technology devices or upgrading network infrastructure with a grant and then build maintenance and repair service costs and professional learning costs into the district or school's operating expenses. Some districts have secured funding through a bond voted on by the community or have raised enough money through fundraisers sponsored by parent-teacher organizations and others have worked with companies to finance the cost of new technology devices. Districts and schools are finding creative solutions to the funding question, including leasing equipment, phasing in computing devices over time to spread out the cost of purchasing devices, selecting devices with lower initial costs such as netbooks, and making use of bring your own devices and equipping schools with robust wireless access. Any requested funding should clearly link technology to the bigger picture of teaching and learning. Technology is not an end in itself, but instead is a set of tools to foster engaged learning environments and increase student outcomes. Successful funding clearly supports a higher purpose than simply the acquisition of hardware and equipment. Ultimately, when exploring budgeting options, it is important to be creative, engage numerous stakeholders, and develop a multi-year plan for financing technology needs. Review your existing operating budget and consider how your current budget can be altered to support ongoing implementation efforts. By aligning technology implementation goals with goals of other school-wide initiatives, you will be able to integrate the costs of technology to support other program goals. For example, in Marengo County Schools in Alabama, the district used funds earmarked to support needs of students at risk to purchase an online software program that teachers could use to create, administer, and track student progress and outcomes. Similarly, professional learning workshops that focus on integrating technology into instruction 
and integrating evidence-based teaching strategies into content areas such as reading, writing, and mathematics can be funded through professional development dollars linked with curriculum and content area development. Explore the different ways in which technology integration supports programs for students receiving special education services, English language learners, and students in Title I programs. Then refine your existing budgets to include technology use to achieve program goals and outcomes. In the previous video in this unit, we covered using a technology inventory to define technology needs and prioritize technology investments to meet short and long-term instructional goals. Setting priorities and connecting technology purchases to defined goals builds a foundation for successful use and implementation. You want to clarify your school budget line items for technology or include technology in other existing budget lines. Identify funds to help meet those short and long-term goals. Consider alternative funding sources and plan not only for initial costs but also for long-term maintenance and replacement costs to facilitate sustainability. Build community support and identify local funding options and resources. Finally, develop a multi-year plan to support sustainability of technology costs. Conduct an ongoing review and refining of your budget is necessary as you move through the stages of implementation. Refer to the tools and templates provided in Unit 4 in the Learning Center on the Center for Technology and Disability website to support your work. Thanks for watching Part 2 of our unit on Budgeting for Educational Technology. For more information, please continue using the Center on Technology and Disability.